All right, fellow VR4 peeps, bit of an eye, uh, bit of uh, geniosity here from myself and Steve from TME. So this car has coil plug kit, forged motor, was constantly blowing up blown three IFS sensors. Now, Steve says the commonality with IFS blowing is that it's mainly coil on plug users. So I measured the current going across these pins, which is the feed from the ECU and the power out to the uh, injectors when there was no IFS connected. And with my uh, ohm meter here, or my current meter, sorry, um, it was around about 3 amps of current, 2.5 to 3 amps of current. Now, if I bridge pins 4 and 3 but leave the IFS connected, the IFS functions and the TAC functions, but half the current goes via the bridge. So the interesting thing about this is, is two things. One, the current load through the IFS is halved, which is likely to reduce the chance of them popping, unless this is not a heat related, a current related issue. If it's current related, this will fix it. The other benefit is if you are driving along and with this bridge in place, the tack fails, but the car keeps running, you know that your IFS has failed. If you don't have this bridge in place, then when the IFS fails, the car dies. This bridge, with an appropriate fuse in place, and I'm thinking 7.5 amp fuse, is going to ensure that the car keeps running, even in the event of an IFS failure. By having a fuse in line of 7.5 amps, it ensures that should the problem actually be related to a short circuit, we are still going to pop a fuse rather than destroy something else in the car.